So the stamps are the design. Y'all, it's finished! Yay! Look at it, look at it, look at it! Good morning, everybody. How y'all doing? It is bright and early in the morning. Y'all know let's wake up early to go on an adventure. Now today I'm going to Cape Coast. I'm catching the bus, the Ford bus. Those of you who in a craft from a cry, y'all know that that is a whole story in and of itself. Now, for those of you who don't know, Cape Coast is in the central region of Ghana. First time going to the central region. I'm going to visit a family friend and a Caribbean person. Big up to Dominica. I'm actually probably not going to do a lot of the castle stuff because I'm gonna go back in two weeks. Got some special people coming. So let's see what I get up to. Alrighty, bye. Bye. Okay, so I made it to Cape Coast and by my family friend. We came, went to the market, got some stuff. I came home, we ate, and I napped. This is my room. My bed is much bigger than my one at my house. I'm happy like puppy. And I've just really been chilling. The bus, the Ford bus, it was way easier than I thought. And yo, I was just like, why haven't you been gallivanting to the Cape Coast and Taco Day? So much more. I was scared, yo. I was scared, but now I'm not scared anymore. Anyways, two months left, so let me see how we go. Okay, everyone, so this is the beginning process of batiking, I think. Anyways, we're gonna get the rundown. But now, I'm choosing my stamps, and I don't know what they mean, but we're gonna find out. So essentially, the stamps create the mark. So what we would do is use the wax. You dip the stamp in the wax and then you dip it on the fabric. The wax oh, prints yeah, yeah. onto the fabric. Okay. Then you dye it. Then you dye it. You can literally do anything mm -hmm. as a design on a fabric. What I love about Batik is the ability to really create and be creative. Mm -hmm. You know, anything mm -hmm. can be anything can be a mark. These are all Adinkra symbols of okay. the Ghanaian language a sim of symbolism. Unity life. This is the Jinyame, which means God above all else. Okay. Or without God. I see this one a lot of places. Yes. These ones I cut by hand, so you can see my drawing school skills are not the best. This was supposed to be a hibiscus it's sleeve. A hibiscus you could see that, okay? <laughs> Fantastic. And this is the, in the Adinkra symbology, this is one of the top ones. Okay, folks, so I've narrowed down. I'm not going to do any with the words. I want people to guess. So it's like, if you know, you know. I'll probably stick with some of the Adinkra symbols and kind of go from there. And I don't know, can you put more than one on your stuff? I guess so. She has some hibiscus. And I'd be like, cute, because I'm from the Caribbean. Yes, actually, maybe I'll do a blend, you know? Caribbean, Ghanaian, Caribbean, West African vibe. That, talking it out. Cold pot, cold pot, and we have our coals that we bought from the market yesterday.
can you tell I like blue? If you can't, well, we figured it out now. <laughs> I've never been able to make the squish squish. Y'all know about the squish squish? Squish squish. You hear it? I heard it just now. So it's a lot of dying and drying and dying and drying and then if you're not dying and dying again It's drying and drying again. Oh and water and rinsing. It's here to dry and then We're gonna put the wax on it and then I think we're gonna dry it again and then I'm gonna have to let it dry again So you see the process die and dry and die and dry <laughs> It's a candle wax y'all Oh my gosh Okay everyone, so this was the practice one. I don't know if you could tell. Let me just show you what I did. <laughs> and then I put, I did these. Look, 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 look. And then look at this blotch. And then look what Lucy did. Yes. It's harder than you think putting wax on. You gotta think about all the dots and too much wax and wet and it's hot. And anyway, so this is practice round, but I'm gonna do it over and over again. After this, we then have to dye and wet and dry again. And then de wax. Oh gosh, it's a process. But we're going, we're going, we're going. It's creative. It's creative. I never saw myself as creative, but I'll be creative today. This is just the first half of it, first of all. My hibiscuses can turn into blobs. They're blob hibiscuses. If y'all have never heard of that type of hibiscus, look it up in the dictionary. The Adinka symbol. Oh gosh, I can't remember what it's officially called. Anyways, I'll figure it out, but it's something to do with horns and strength. So we like that. So it's gonna carry through the blob hibiscus. We're finished, we're gonna dye it, and then figure it out tomorrow morning. <laughs> I love the color!
Y'all, it's finished! Yay! Look at it, look at it, look at it! Y'all, it's got a sun don't play. It, it just came out 20, 30 minutes ago, and the thing jai jai jai, crisp, 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 like a pack of chips if you're from Britain. <laughs> I crack myself up. I'm gonna make a dress with my hibiscus and my adinkwa symbol and my jellyfish. <laughs> Yay! Okay, huge thank you to Lucy, the woman behind the arts, <laughs> this whole, whole time. This is from Dominica. She's living here in Ghana, in Cape Coast, and she does batik hair. Like, it's a passion project that she's hoping to do full time. So, if you're ever interested or have questions or want to purchase a pair of fabric, contact Lucy. I'll leave her details or just send me an email. Yes. I'm on Instagram, but not really, so. Okay, know, yeah. there we go. Very Dominicans true. in the house. Woo! Sakafe. No, that's not what you're saying. Sakafe. Sakafe. There we go. There we go. Voila, voila. <laughs> Do you speak Creole? A little. What? What? But for Jerry, something the What do you mean, what? <laughs> <laughs> I hear the Dominican accent just sick. It thick, comes. Thick, thick. It comes. <laughs> Anyways, yes. So that's my Cape Coast experience. Thank you, everybody, for watching. And thank you so much, Lucy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bye. Bye, global girl. <laughs> okay, everyone, it's time for me to say bye to Cape Coast till next time. I don't know where I just get this energy from in the morning and because I really don't feel like it. I really don't. It's quite labor intensive, but it's a labor of love. This is curry shells. The symbol means curry shells. So if, if you put it, if I'm putting it on a piece of fabric, then I'm wanting to wish the person success, financial prosperity, etc. This is the ram. Um, you know the horns of the... Yes, yeah. yes, yes. So, I'm an Aries. So. You're an Aries. Oh, yes. okay. This might be... This might be an option for your... So this without, is tie-dye. Yes. Without any batik. Okay, this is just okay, the dye, okay, but okay. tied... Yes, yes, yes. ...in yes. a particular... Or so. I really like this. Yeah. So this is one. And the blue dye that I chose is in a bottle that has a tika on it. And I chose it before I even knew that. It's about to smell like smoke. <laughs> yes, you're about to get country. <laughs> yes. She does batik by hand, as you can see, and she sells them. So you can look on her Instagram. <laughs> I thought you were finished chewing the ice. <laughs> yeah, definite bluebird. Round two. <laughs>